after I send you a video and other people, a month later, the trash is still there. Why? Well, we try to get as much as we can. Um, it, it, it does because you need a certain certification to go gather that trash. You know, we only have so many people who do that. And they're also picking up in a lot of areas other than the ones that you sent me. There's a whole bunch of them, right? But we, you know, we are on it. It's just, it does, it's taking a while to get particularly the needles. And ironically, that's what needs to be, they're dangerous, right? Like when you need to get them picked up because of the risk that they can cause. So um, we're, and, and it's a relatively new dynamic. The, like the past two, three years, when you say, like I yeah. feel prior to that, we didn't really see. All we see had, the, all we had was drunk. Area. All we had was drunk and leave a bottle here and there. Uh, but now it's very, very dangerous. And it is very dangerous, yeah. I'm not, we're what? on it. I mean, we are on it, and I share that. So this is what I want to say. Thank you for sending me your videos. I pass them along. And I would say to the public, if they see places where there's garbage, particularly of that nature, to send it to send it to your councillor, send it to City Hall, because then we will it will go on to the people who can go out and collect that garbage. But, so is, that's, but it's not working. It. The garbage is still there. Yeah, I think it's because, like I said, I think that they're out getting garbage in areas that you haven't identified that somebody else has told us about, so we've gone and done that. And they're constantly collecting stuff. We've also been trying, um, those same folks are out at the different, the micro tent sites. We've had to clean up some of those sites, and it's probably a resource. They're just, it's a resource challenge, how they, you know, resources certification. But the outside workers. We are doing it. I get. I hear you. We're not doing it quickly enough for what you would think should be done faster. And I take that. I'll. I take, I'll take that to staff and say we need to. Step and that is they, like. They're doing what they can. It's like an example. By the way, it's not me. Is I always. I don't have a life, so I've been walking the street in Fredericton for about ten to fifteen years. And I think that's a pretty great life. You are in the know, my friend. You yeah, yeah. And th this this used to be brown. Anyway, yeah. so you it's turn just for work politics, isn't it? Oh yeah. So you turn around, then suddenly you notice these garbage. It's like I walked the uh, the walking bridge, and then when you go in the West Modern Bridge, the tunnel before you go in the West and North side. Last night, it, the garbage is still there, and is there going to be like this summer? It's going to this city is going to be. I hope I'm wrong. I hope I'm a hundred percent wrong. The city is going to be invaded by people on crystal meth and put their tents beside the river, and it's going to be loaded. Are we? Why don't we? Can we set up some kind of a group, or uh, not a committee, but somebody? They're professional cleaners. That their job during the summer months is just to make sure that the area stays clean because it's a total disaster. It's a good idea. You know, we've set in certain areas of the trail. There's like a neighborhood that, that they're like, in my area. There's a group in the neighborhood that maintains that part of the trail. But I mean, then they, again, can, then again, you got needles. You, the certification. All yeah. those people would need. There's you got time. needles. You need gloves. We need more sharpie disposals around. Yeah. That's one. Thing they won't that use it. Happen. They won't yeah. use it. And it, it's just like the north side from from the superstore to the West Warren Bridge. I mean, mm -hmm. it was terrible. It was just terrible. But I'm just stating to how to keep this city. You as mayor and council, yeah, how to idea. keep this city clean. Yeah, I like that idea. I'll I'll take that to the. I will take that just the way we have like auxiliary police or whatever. I mean, I don't know. Do you have an, an auxiliary cleanup committee that works with engineering and public works? That's a good idea. They, but I like to say there would need to be lots of controls. The liabilities on that would be pretty significant. So you need it's like not as simple as gathering a group, right? No, you need you need like an A team, something. But you know, yeah. like they have coveralls, they got gloves, and their job when they see a shopping cart. That's on the river near the near the bank. Their job is to remove it, and so the tourist comes here and see this beautiful city that it used to be. 
that it stays this way because we're heading into I'm talking too much here. I'm very sorry. And uh, we're heading I, know, I have to go in like five minutes. Oh yeah, no, no, five minutes. What's that? Anyway, okay, let's move on. I can see you on the street anyway. I see you looking at your uh, your uh, journalist, uh, your uh, communication p p person. Well, only she's only here to keep me on track. Did do I you talk to you forever? Which do I you do. read the letters to the editor? No. No. Good girl. But my mother reads every one of them, and she tells me if there's something that I need to know. I, um, yeah, because I like to read productive. I don't want to, um, I think, I think it's really important for people's mental health and so that they stay positive and moving forward, that they don't get too caught up in negativity. Anything that's constructive, I have people, my mom for one, my husband for another, and staff. We have phenomenal communication staff. They tell me about the stuff that's relevant. A friend so I feel it, like comments. I don't read comments. Uh, a fr I, I, don't, I don't read comments either. I call them idiot, oh, right. idiot cowards. Never, never mind. But anyway, um, Albert, a friend of mine, wrote a letter to the editor about okay. the garbage on the side of the river and all that. There's a lot of people yeah. concerned. Okay, we're going to move on. I did, I did. I did read that one because the garbage stuff is really driving me. It's, I'm frustrated by it too, Charles. Albert, so that. Albert, uh, Albert, Albert, Albert will be honored that you read it. Okay, okay. exhibition ground. What's going on? Uh, what's going on there? What's wh what's the plan? What you, did you say? Exhibition? Plan? Yeah, so like you have good communication skill compared to the other guy that was there before you. So exhibition ground. Is there some communication, good communication going on on the future on that area? Yeah, I would say you know we we have that joint committee and we and we're working through. Um, we're going to be doing the secondary plan. So yes, we're in constant contact with uh, with sort of what's coming next in doing that development. We haven't met. I mean, I've certainly met with Mike Vokey. You know, I've met with some members of the board of the exhibition, and we've you know, so we there has been some communication. But I'm. E oh, have I been cut off? <laughs> Are you still there? See, this is what happens. Uh, you can't turn around. Wait a minute. Let me try that again. Yeah, okay, that's all right. No problem. So we're almost done. I got, I got the little star saying, rate the quality of your call. So I think we got timed out. Oh, yeah, I, I thought. So I'm going to have to say farewell, but do you have one last question? Oh, no, I'm almost done. I'm almost done. I'm almost done. Oh. Okay, so, so I'm letting you talk. Oh, don't don't, don't forget that. Uh, the uh, So the Frex, is the Frex, do you think the Frex will, will stay there for, for a while? The exhibition ground? I, do you know what? I honestly don't know. I don't know as far as timing, how much longer the exhibition will be there. I don't, I can't, I honestly cannot say that. I know that we're moving ahead with doing okay. all the plan. Okay. But I don't know what at what stage we'll actually see development. Yeah. What about your uh, pet P or the former one, uh, pet P, the playhouse? Yeah. Is that moving ahead? Are taxpayers going to fund the bail? What's the update on that? Um... So it is, you know, we are moving ahead. We're trying to see if this, the, the, the property that we purchased um, from commercial properties, if, if that space, if that lot's going to be large enough to put the new performing arts center. If not, well, it will stay in the existing site. So we're working through the design stuff. I, we expect to know by the end of January which location it will be at, and then we'll, we're moving ahead with the design.